right, so here we go again, going for more lifers. Gonna go for African clawed frogs today and turtles, uh, some pond turtles. I think I know of a spot where they might be. It's very isolated, so we shall see. Uh, came back last week with Cameron and got the California newt, so that was a lifer. So gonna go for more amphibians and yeah, turtles, reptile, but just more aquatic animals, I guess. Definitely different from what I'm used to, but about ready to go. Got the bag, got the hook just in case you find a snake, and got some new water boots. We'll see what happens. All right, so definitely one of the more gnarly herping, more like nasty herping, just because it's like a cesspool of water and there might be homeless people nearby. And, ugh, not really my thing, but sometimes you, that's where you got to go in order to find certain animals and. The uh, African clawed frog definitely uh, likes this sort of habitat. So we've already found one African clawed frog. And we just found another one. He's in there somewhere. He's going to try to find him. Come on, Junior. Um, these guys are quick. Quicker than the uh, non-African clawed frogs. Here he is. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. Did you see him jumping around there? I saw him. I don't know where he went, oh, though. Oh, my goodness, dude. They, they jump like nothing else. Okay. He might have gone. Nope. Nope. All right. We probably lost him. I think he went downstream a little bit. So here's what the area looks like. And just found them under the rocks during the day where they're hiding because they are nocturnal. And that, that comes from the road. And then, as Cameron said, I mean, this water is nasty. You got trash in there, and who knows what else in here. Definitely want to wash our hands after we're done. There oh, he there is. he is. Okay, so he's moving around in there. I'm just going to let the water settle for a sec. Or the, the silt settle. We're going to let the uh, cesspool settle. Yeah. Um... So they blend in really well. And they're quick, man. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift one fecal covered rock at a time. I think he's under here. Yeah. Dude, he was in there. These guys are <laughs> quick, man. <laughs> These are, these guys are soap. He's still here somewhere. Is he? He's like, under there? Yep. Do you see him? There you go. Oh, yep, he's under my hand. There we go. Ah. Woo! <laughs> there he is. African clawed frog. Oh, no, 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 no. There he goes. It's okay, I got one. So like no joke, less than five minutes, our first little spot of, of searching, we end up finding three. Cameron found the first one and then goes, oh, there's two, there's three. Oh, there's a lot in here. So let's see the one that you got. Oh, I made a little pinching noise. The African clawed frog is an invasive species and is quite established in Southern California and is currently spreading. They feed on anything they can catch like fish, amphibians, and aquatic invertebrates. This makes it very detrimental to the native environment. The African clawed frog is a smooth-bodied frog anyways, but they also release a slippery secretion that repulses predators. This made it even more difficult for us to catch them. Alright, so there's the three African clawed frogs that we found. We probably could have found a whole lot more. These guys that we ended up catching were on the smaller end, but they can grow to nearly six inches in length. All right, be free. Find your way back to South Africa. <laughs> it's a long way, but I don't underestimate you. Make sure that they don't go the other way. All right, guys, there's only one way. One really amazing fact about these guys is they can tolerate very poor water conditions and even brackish water, up to possibly 40% salt water. 
So these guys are fully aquatic and need the water to survive. They can be out for 10 to 15 minutes in the sun before they die. But they should be completely fine. I guess he doesn't want to go in the water. Alright, this guy, come on dude. We eat our American flies.